So we're going to continue. Uh, so we're playing Pirate's Cove, uh, which is the DLC areas, which we've gotten like a decent amount of success in. We cleared the first area about two weeks ago, then we played two weeks of NetHack. And most of our snow was gone until this morning. We had a lot of it gone, so... I just went and looked outside this morning and I was like, no. And it's just like playing into my, uh, into my brain not wanting to go anywhere. Anyway, we should play Dungeoneering. At least get started on Dungeoneering, get my brain in that. And then we will talk about stupid weather. Um, okay, so oh, I haven't played the Drunken Sailor class yet. I need to take a look at this class, actually. Oh, and that, that drives me mad. All okay. right. What is the Drunken Sailor class like? Uh, can I even look at the Drunken Sailor class from here? Like, I can click on them and they go... Okay, yeah, I can from here. Okay. Because it was the Cardamancer that we were using last time. We unlocked the Drunken Sailor. Um, he has rum. First time starting around on one hit point gain one hit point. I mean, like, yeah, these are kind of cool, but they're all melee. I'm not, I'm, we're gonna go with, we're gonna go back to, uh, we're gonna go back to the, the, the Cardamancer, because I really like the Cardamancer, even though I did name him Wesley. I just, Wesley's, Wesley, Wesley gets a bad rap in popular culture. I mean, I guess Wesley gets better on, like, Angel, so that's something eventually. Anyway, we gotta find some treasure. We are getting off topic. Hey, the spots in my hair! Um, okay, so we have mermaids. Play up to three cards this turn. What are we doing? Do we just, like, what is our goal? Collect one large chest. Okay. And I have no idea which large chests are. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. So this is, I think, the first one where we've gotten a goal that isn't on the map. Which I actually find really interesting. The mermaids are mundane. Which means incoming magical attacks get plus one, which is really good for the cardamancer. Um, so we'll put down a mysterious fountain. And it's garbage. Yeah, we'll, we'll throw the mermaid there. We'll th oh, I can't throw the other mermaid there? Well, that's balls. I guess then I should have put the other fountain down down here. Of course I should have, because that would have been the smart thing to do. Walking fuck. Okay, so Rule Slayer gives me plus two damage. Uh, every time I take plus more than two damage, or no, two or more damage, I draw a card. Uh, I've got a bunch of battle scars, so I get one less loot slot because I don't know why I'd want that, but I was stuck with it. Scrounger, one loot choice of a higher level than normal. Fountain Addict. Okay, I'm attracted to fountains. Awesome. And I start with one plus hand size. Okay. What does this mean? Recycles one card, discard and draw. Okay, cool. Okay, so that's a double block. Um, so then we will heal one and draw one. Alright, so she's just basically, those, that ability, because that's the first time I've seen that, is just basically making us, like... Basically making a cycle a card. Okay. Don't have enough cards in hand to really... Oh, no, no, that would have worked. Because he was going to take one damage. Right. Okay, well then. There we go. Okay, Fire Blast or Trident. Wow, the Trident adds a lot of attacks. But this adds health and fire, whereas this adds blade. I think we're gonna have to go with the trident. The trident's gotta be more useful. Also, now we're blind, which is awesome. Okay. 
Alright, the monster gains conceal for the next fight, which I can't even go up and look at. So, cool for that. Um... There we go. What a slay. Alright, so conceal is... Yeah, I don't get to see what their card is. That's what I thought. Alright, let's do mind strike then. Mind taking! Okay, um... Kind of play. Uh, I could have played the thing I wanted to. Uh, we'll just do card storm and hope that works. Yeah, we got two damage through. Okay, we're cool. We're cool. Hey, asshole cat. Psychopath. Psychopath. All right, mage robes are probably gonna be where we're going here. This will get us Arcane, Holy, and Fire, and we're already Holy and Arcane 1, so. Yeah. Come on up, Psychopath. Come on. Okay. Or not. Alright, we got another mermaid to fight. Awesome. I still kind of feel like the music is a little too loud, which is weird because it's so turned down. Like, I could turn it off completely, but I don't want to. Okay, that's as low as the music's going to get. Apparently the music slider is not the best. This I did not know. Alright, okay, well, we'll just do card storm. I like I like the music, but at the same time, it's a little maddening. Okay, so that would take us up to Blade Four, which would give us Bleed, or the Pigeon Nest, which would give us Growth. We're gonna go with the Spiky Hat, I think. Growth is nice, oh, but Growth is really nice. Oh, why didn't I do that? Now that I'm thinking about this, I really should have done Growth. Growth is so much better. Ooh, a merman. Because yeah. growth will give me that really, really good power if I get it far enough along. Oh well. We got plenty of monsters to kill, so... Let's draw. and draw. So he's spiky, which he blocks fully on an attack and deals one damage. And if he starts around on one, okay, so we need to like just damage him a ton. Let's do eviscerate then. You gain conceal for one round. I don't care though. Um... Ah, bleed. Uh, we'll go Holy Seal. And, uh, card flip. 
So it'll take him out before he damages me. This is a completely different build I had than I had for Cartomancer last time. Okay, what do I want to do? That's got growth on it and swift and blade. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go with growth because we could really use growth. Which is kind of sad because like bleed is really useful, but at the same time it's not. Like, it's just not a thing that comes in handy. Alright, we'll put the pirate here. Arr. I forgot about that. Um, I guess we'll put a buccaneer Arr. over here. Whoa, what? What is... Huh? What? Was that intentional or was that a bug? What? What the hell was that? I'm really confused right now. seal on that so I don't discard a card. Oh, I love that ability so much. Okay, we need growth. That's got holy on it. Would get us bleed back. We're gonna take the spike shield, I think. I think it's a better choice right now. Um I still can't get over here. Awesome. Ooh, massive gem though. Um, okay, I guess we will put this here, that there, and this here. Uh -huh. I still don't even know where we're really going. Oh, wow, that is... That's a lot of pain. Um, okay, let's heal one. Um, let's heal one and focus. So we only take one damage, get another card. Um, if I do card storm now, then that will afford us nine damage, which will be enough. God, I love that move. Oh, and we had the plus one from focus. So we already have a spiky shield. Uh, the armor, yeah, the armor's not worth it. We're gonna take some gold, because I like gold. Put the massive gem here. Okay, where can... Wow. I'm just not getting tiles. Like, I'm not getting tiles that are at all useful. I guess we'll put that there. Oh, I see, I see. There, we got it, we got it. Ah. Alright. Alright, um, then we're gonna shift. Because cards, cards, cards. Okay, so he's mundane as well, so that's not particularly surprising. Um, block for all the cards in your hand. Yeah. Propel. Rekindle. And then just card click. Unblockable fast.
Cerebrate. I love Cerebrate. Alright, well, let's just... Uh, let's put enemies down, because really at this point we just want to up our gear, so... I should have read what he says. I need to start reading what they say, because it's really funny in places. Um, okay, we will focus. Um, we will celebrate. Celebrate good times, come on. Paper shin. Yeah, no, repel. This time, paper shield. Awesome. Beautiful. Sexy. Um, anger. Well, I'm sorry you're angry, dude, but, uh. Take a card storm. So sexy. Uh, stiletto, which gives me nothing, or a mace, which, yeah, gives me. No, let's just take some gold. I'll put the parrot there. I don't know, I guess we'll put another parrot here. Thing is, I think I got into the habit of reading what they say because um, in the original release, it just really wasn't that interesting. All right, we'll celebrate. I love drawing card cards. All right, so he's going to play that next. Um, focus. All right, well then, we'll card storm him. I love this class so much. Okay, that's what we already have equipped, and that's what we already have equipped, so we'll take some gold. We'll put the massive gem up there. And, like, I don't really have a need to play any... Actually, let's start playing monsters, like, there, so they'll come to us. Assuming that doesn't just, like, completely wreck us. Ah. Remember the hope cards that had equipment too? When hope cards had equipment too? No. Filthy casual. What the fuck's a hope card? Am I just, like, completely dense? Alright, mind strike! Um... Wow, none of these cards I really want to play. I guess we'll go with Fire Blast. So I just realized that that's still going. Let's stop that. Um, hmm. Well, that'll do an extra against Unblockable. That doesn't help me. I guess we'll Viscerate. Ferocious means what? Physical attacks dealing 3 plus damage get plus 1 bonus to damage. Okay. This is not the way I normally beat things up. This is weird. Not with the Cartomancer, at least. The Wolf Pelt would take away my Arcane. I take away my... Bro yeah, no, we're gonna take some gold. Um... According to this Zerata scroll, that massive gem should be a level higher. Oh, right. The fuckers burn. Celebrate. What do we got? What do we got? Uh, repel. Oh, shit. He's got ferocious. I should have... Fuck. Should have used the other one. Oh, well. Uh, do 
I do damage or focus? I'm gonna focus. Yeah, let's block with the Holy Seal. In there, we'll use, uh, where is it? This one. Should kill it. There we go. The flaming gala is defeated. We get anything interesting. Uh, this would give us more growth, but we would lose Cerebrite, so we're gonna take gold once more. So he's brittle. Taking four, uh, in one turn causes two extra damage. Aggressive. And is okay. Yeah. Um. Then we will heart of cards. And then mind strike. Um. Alright. I need. I need to build up more before we do that. How do I want to play? I guess we'll play Arcane Barrage. Um, okay, well, this right. Beautiful. Um, per damage. So we need to block as many of those as possible. But I can't block. I can only block one of them. Let's let's do this. Okay. Oh, card storm. There we go. All right, what do we got? A coral crown, which would be not useful at all, or dragon scale armor, which again, I hope a brace is nice. But Cerebrate is so good for this build. Like, just so amazingly good. I have to take gold. Okay, I guess we'll put that there and that there. Arg. Arg. Okay, why is no one chasing me? Like, don't these things chase you? Whatever. I don't know, let's, I guess, put some parrots down, because parrots are funny. Parrots a funny wow. word. Maybe I can expand my card collection with some more failed cards now. Alright, um, ferocious. So that is physical text dealing three important damage. Okay, deal one more. Okay. So I could block, yeah, let's block most of that. Let's take one. Although I would have drawn a card. Focus. Focus! Focus, Wesley! We need to focus! Oh, that's beautiful. I like that one. Let's do heart of cards. Let's do slice. Dice. Um, okay, celebrate. There it is, God Storm. I kind of like this more. This plays with the build better. Yeah, we'll take the heater shield. Because this will give us fire three, which gives us burn abilities. Hey, right. okay, we got the treasure map, which does what? Oh, it gives us an X. 
cool. Okay. Okay, that gives us actual information. This is really cool. I'm really liking these new mechanics they added in Pirate's Cove. Oh, that is an unsexy attack. Um... Yeah, let's block one, heal one, take two, draw one from the rules lawyer. Uh, ba ba ba. I have nothing to block that. Fuck me sideways. Alright, mine strike. Ah, there we go. Cerebrate. God storm! Excellent, excellent, excellent. Wah, 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 wah. I just love the thunderous noise of, of Card Strike going into play. Uh, okay, this is Swift and Show Off. And yeah, no. And, uh, Crush, no. Oh, and these are not good rooms for this either. Okay, we'll end our turn. I might end up regretting this because this will probably be a shitty fountain. Yeah. Um. I don't know. I guess we'll put another cranky parrot there. I like the parrots. Now's a good time to cast Ignite. Because now you're on fire! Uh, more cards, please. Let's block that. I just want to let him, like, burn to death. I wonder if there's an achievement for that. I'm gonna do that. Oh, I didn't get it. Oh, I forgot I had a bonus. Oh, well. Okay, so... Oh, that would up my... So I wouldn't lose Cerebrate. I'd lose... We kindle, shift, and slice. But I get divine shield and blinding light, which are pretty sexy. What's the sword of the sea do? Ooh, I kind of like that more though, because it heals. Heels are blocking. Heels are blocking. I mean, this heals as well. But this does double heals. Oh, this is not an easy choice. This one, I lose one heal and lose one drawing card. Yeah, we gotta go with the Sword of the Sea. Alright. Okay, whatever. Ah. Hey, my like a ma ma Mal. Hey, Mal. How's it going today? I just realized I don't have something open. I should go open that. Doop -a -doop -a -doop. So much of my stuff seems to be broken right now. Doesn't matter though. I'm gonna kick some ass.
There we go. That's better. That's much better also. I just realized something. Sorry. There's going to be a minor audio interruption here for a second. I think. I just realized I goofed on something. There we go. All right. All right, we're good to go again. Um, so he's stealing cards every time I block something, but I really don't care. I have an original edition. And yeah, no. Stupid parrot thing. Oh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. The horned crown, which no. And uh, we would get rejuvenate. We would lose ignite. But this would heal. Yeah, we're gonna go with that. We're gonna take the warhorn. I'd rather have the heal than that slow burn. Seriously, still nothing I can put over there. Okay, cool. Yes. Um. So basically. Uh, you are in charge of a guild of adventurers, or dungeoneers, and you have to send them through a dungeon, but you basically bait them along. And as they level up, they gain statistics. Uh, you can see I have Fire 2, which grants me these two cards. Uh, Holy 3, which grants me these three. Uh, Blades 2, Arcane 4... Growth 4, and I also have a Blessing, which gives me some bonuses. The Cardomancer starts with... Oh, is, did that show me the cards? Yeah, so that's the base class card. So basically, you build a deck as you level. Um, the items up your skills, the skills give you cards. And you try to solve the objective of each dungeon. So right now I'm collecting one large chest. Which I believe is going to be where the X is, because I got a treasure map that sent me there. Or made that X appear. Uh, okay, I guess we'll put that there, and then put the cranky parrot there, and put the treasure there, and then, I don't know. I guess that's what we'll do. I'm trying to get a, a tile piece. So also there's, like, every turn you draw uh, five, five possible tiles from a deck of random tiles for the level. So you don't control that at all. Um, and I'm just trying to get a tile that will allow me to go down there right now. Um, so that's unblockable. So, so basically then you fight the enemies, they have cards. It does one physical damage, red is physical, uh, blue is magical, and it is unblockable. So I, these won't do anything, I'm gonna just do two magic back. And then like, I've got traits, like each class has different traits as well. So like, if I take more than two damage, I draw a card. Or two or more damage, I should say. This is not the best hand at all. This is probably one of the worst hands I've had with this game. Like, at least with this class. And, like, if your, if your Cardomancers die, then, um... What ends up happening is you just get another one. Like, if my Chiromancer were to die. Now, that being said, I think I'd lose all traits associated with them. The traits are good or bad. I think, like, that one's good. But normally I'd get, like, three treasures. Yeah, see, so I get one less loot slot. I'm going to block with Blinding Light. And heal twice. Um, wow, again, this is just really not a good... I'm not getting good cards this time. There we go, that I like. Um, so I guess we'll heal with Rejuvenate. And I say heal, but there's no maximum hit points. You can keep gaining hit points. All right, so if he blocks it, I discard. And now I'm getting my drawing card cards. 
Which I guess I really didn't need to play that. I could have played Card Storm, which I'm gonna play now. And I'll just wreck him. Yeah, it is a pretty good game. Uh, it's one of my favorite games that came out last year. So, uh, I really recommend it. They they released the base game. This is the DLC, um, which is just an extension of the base game. I still can't friggin' get... Oh. RNG is just not being kind to me today, apparently. Um, okay, well, then let's put treasure here, I guess. And... Yeah, it's... it's it was uh, it's one of those games that when I saw it for the first time earlier um, last year, I was like, I love the aesthetic of this game because it's got that old Dungeons and Dragons, everything's on graph paper aesthetic. Yeah, you just gain life. There is no maximum life. Um, so I'm blind, so I can't see anything. I'm going to go with Heart of Cards. I should have went with... Well, no, actually, that's not bad. Uh, focus. Yeah, like you can just basically keep gaining life. Let's go to Flame Lash. Juvenate. Nice. Thank you for the follow, Mal. You are now a potato head. Where are we at for... I should actually double check to make sure we're still at where I thought we were at for... You're in the, the weird little potato community, or whatever it is. I sound so enthusiastic sometimes. <laughs> I'm far more enthusiastic inside. So we're at 97. So I guess we get to update the stream title, because now it's only three more to go to 100. Yay! Um, considering I don't know what he has, I'm going to go Card Storm. Yeah. Uh, Cursed Bow. Awesome. That is not a thing I want. Uh, man, I'm getting, like, no friggin' room tiles. Or room cards. Oh, I'm not happy. Well, I want to keep him over here, so... So you use treasure to bait him around. He'll go for monsters, or he'll go for treasure. One of the two. Uh, he, he prioritizes treasure over monsters. Um, he'll prioritize... I can't remember how he prioritizes monsters. It has to do with what level the monster is and what level you are. I think he'll always go towards some a monster that he is the same level as. Um, but he won't go towards a monster that's higher level than him. Well, this is unblockable. I'm gonna go with, I guess, Fire Blast. I like that the burn damage counts towards the Rule Lawyer, because it's damage on a turn. Um, I have a feeling I'm not going to find any gear I want anytime soon, so we're just going to keep taking gold. Actually, I shouldn't... See, here's the problem, is taking gold puts me in place to, to get a gem. Um, which is great, except... Oh, sweet. Um, which is great, except the fact that then it takes up one of the five cards I can draw. So if I get a bunch of gems... It eliminates, you know, it is, it's good for when you're trying to gather, like, treasure. Although it doesn't seem to impact how much treasure you gain uh, too much. Actually, I should have played Cerebrate. What was I thinking? Whatever. Whatever. 
Uh, it doesn't seem to impact too much the amount of gold you gain. Not that I need gold anymore. There's nothing else I can unlock for gold. Earlier in the game, there would have been. Um, okay, we'll card storm. But at this point in the game, I've unlocked everything. All right, and then we got the thing that we got. Yeah, so you can see here, is too you, young this is how much here. extra gold you, you get for loot and gear. You get brave. more gold for killing well, monsters. How long before you feel the fear? And how long before you're in your grave? Also, I love the bard. The bard, the bard sings things constantly. So if if I still needed gold, I'd normally go into expand guild. But I have everything in here bought, so you can buy pretty much everything in just the base game. I think I had only a couple things that weren't unlocked after playing the base game. So you can see uh, I have a bunch of different classes of Dungeoneers. There's a Chump, a Cat Burglar, a Bruiser, a Mime, an Apprentice, a Ranger, a Barbarian, an Alchemist, a Shapeshifter, a Most Holy Grail Knight, an Artificer, a Math Magician, the Troubadour, the Cartomancer, and the Drunken Sailor. So far, I like usually, personally, my my tastes are the cards that are the, the classes that allow you to draw cards. All right, let's go on another adventure. What a load of crab! You've stumbled into the crab lair. You've got crab, Zoss face. Oh, what is this? Okay. You found the crab room. Okay, creepy old man. Defeat three giant crabs. Um, okay, so the crabs are level two, so they're going to be more challenging to defeat if we go straight out at them. So I'm going to lay a corridor, some silver coins to bait him there, and a deck hand. I can play the Math Magician next time if you want. He might die. Uh, <laughs> immediately. I, it's been a while. But, like, all of his cards are based around gaining more cards, usually. So, like, he does he does mathematical attacks that usually involve him gaining more cards. And then, like, you can usually just end up with the, your entire deck in your hand. It's, it's really ridiculous. It is one of my more favorite classes. It's just it's the one that I played the most beforehand. And Cartomancer I unlocked um, after coming back for playing Pirate's Cove. And I really kind of wanted to play a new class. So let's see. Let's do Holy Seal because then he is not going to make me discard anything. And I get to heal one. And these cards um, come from stupidity skills. So every stupidity skill you get a card that does nothing. And while you get a hand, the enemy just has to play what's on the top of their deck. So I guess like we don't have anything, so I guess we'll play um card storm. And we'll play mind strike. And then we'll do card flick. So that lightning bolt means it's a quick attack, so. It go like we immediately, uh, we we our attack goes first. That's basically it. And so the eyeball charm is going to give us fire one and one more heart, so one more health. Whereas the eye patch gives us swift two, so we get the card from swift one as well. Fire is useful, but I think Swift is going to be more useful because, again, like this deck, this deck is also kind of built around um, built around drawing cards. So we're going to take the eye patch, and also then we get nice little upgrades to what our character looks like. All right, so we'll do that, and then put you there and you there. Ah! And hopefully we don't lose Wesley. <laughs> um, okay, all block amounts increased by one. Interesting. Okay, so he always block. The crabs always block one more than they do. Um, so he's gonna heal if I don't block. So we'll block. 
I'd rather take the damage. Um, so we'll do original edition. Because taking the damage will allow me to draw another card. Uh, so okay. This is not a good hand again. Uh, I'm gonna risk him making me cycle a uh, card storm. He did not. Good. Alright, so this will deal one damage for every card in my hand, which is six. So we'll do that. So again, we would get a swift up, or this will give us an arcane up, which we want. The arcane abilities play really well into our class, so. I tend to look for them. Also, the monsters will sometimes chase you. I would not mind crab for dinner. So again, like here we've got different abilities. So he has one more health because his crewmate was destroyed. He killed one of the crewmates previously. Um, if I reduce him to one point, one health, he gains two health. Only for the first time it happens. And aggressive, uh, he can chase me. Um, so I would rather... Hmm. I'd rather take two damage. So, I need cards. Let's shift. Even though this isn't going to do any damage, it's going to get me two more cards this turn, so... There. Um, okay, we'll do... a Holy Seal. This one's unblockable, so that's... Fine, we'll heal one. So even though we take the two damage, we can heal one back up and still proc our rules lawyer. Um, we have seven cards in our hand and he has eight health. So we'll focus and then use card storm next turn. Although he would be losing one from Thrash, so I could have killed him right then and there. All right, card storm. I already have that equipped. I don't have anything in the spiky shield, and I could use melee blocking. So we'll take this. So you can see this gives us an ability as well. Oh, and to go up a level, you have to defeat something of the same level or higher. So this is a two-hour stream this morning. It might be slightly longer than two hours, but I am likely going somewhere after that, so I can't do longer this week. Sundays is going forward, for starting actually today, um, is two-hour streams minimum on Sundays, because unfortunately I need flexibility on Sundays. Um, yeah, let's heal and draw one again. Because we can get more cards. Yoink, if you... Okay, and we'll just card storm the parrot. Take that, you stupid bird. Mmm, squab. Ooh, that's a pretty looking helm, but that gives a... So see, if we were to take the helm, we would gain holy, but we would lose what we're currently wearing for a helm, so we'd lose the swift abilities. Whereas the wing staff, we don't lose anything, and we gain... Uh, two more levels of Holy and one level of Arcane, so we will take that pile of sexy. 
I don't know. I guess we'll put um, a pirate Arr. over here so he can chase us. Arr. All right, let's just do heart of the cards. Now that we're actually like far enough into uh, the area, we can suck up damage a bit better at the start and it'd be okay. So really like once you're a couple levels in, proccing rules lore is way easier. Uh, let's just do that so we don't take any damage, because that's going to be a, more damage than I want. So you saw there, the spiky did one damage to him. Which was nice. Um, okay, we, we're going to do card storm. Get rid of him mostly, and then card flick. Okay, so now we're now we're gonna have a hard choice because I really want Cerebrate. I like Shift and Interrupt, but Cerebrate is so useful. Like Arcane Four and Holy Four is nice too, so we're gonna take that. Although, <laughs> look crazy. I mean, kind of normal, but still. Yeah, see, I'm gonna draw three cards this on my first turn. And I'm still, like, I don't have any empty health points. Um, okay, so I'll block two. I'll still take two, so I'll take one, and then I'll heal two. Or something. It'll, it'll do something. Um, I still don't have the card I want, though. There we go, card storm. Love that card. Um, okay, I don't want the Winged Fury. We would l gain armor, but lose one health. Yeah, I don't want that, so we'll take some gold. Uh -huh. Okay, well, let's just do damage. Yeah, that thing is that thing is amazing. Like, if you build your deck around it. So, that thing can be really, really powerful. If you... Yeah. Basically, in this level, it is really useful. In levels where you have, like, a time, lo like a, a time limit, because sometimes you have, like, only X number of turns to do something, or you fail, or you have something chasing you. So a lot of the times you can't build up a large enough deck to really benefit from it. See, but that's but that's basically like that is the the uh, cardamancer's shtick is that they have that card. So the whole point is they're all based around drawing as many cards as you can to get that card out, and then just doing a ton of damage. Let's use divine shield. Okay, so we would lose Cerebrate there. Yeah, so we'll just take some gold. Not that it really matters. Because he won't pick up gold after beating the crab. I mean, I guess I could put that there, but I don't think... Oh, no, he will go back. Okay. Let's gain, let's gain a little bit more gold before going for the crab. Not that we really need to. I mean, like, at this point, I'm just prolonging this. Um... Uh, let's do Arcane Barrage, and we'll draw two cards, or 
yeah, well, we'll draw our regular card and we'll draw an extra card for taking damage. Block that because I don't want to discard cards. I know I should have done that. Yeah, see you later, Mel. Thanks for popping by. Always appreciate it. Always love seeing a new face, so. Yeah, I'm gonna take a short break. Now that we're done. Assuming we're done. Oh, we got a new battle star. Okay, well, we'll look at that in a second. Engineer. You stood your ground and acted very brave. But how long before you feel the fear? And how long before you're in your grave? 